hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i will be recreating this look i saw on instagram the name of the page i saw this look is judas tip they have a lot of content on their page so if you want to see what they have you can visit their page i really 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 love their page because they have a whole lot of content so anyway i hope you enjoyed this tutorial follow the process i went through in creating this look and i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial this tutorial was a lot of work but well i am glad it came out the way it did and if you like this look please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel and now that i am done with the eye primer process i am going over my eyelid with a green eyeshadow i am going to be using this same green eyeshadow and a brush to cover out the shape that i want my eyeshadow to take and i am going to blend that in properly i will blend this in consistently till i get the consistency that i want now i am blending this green eyeshadow above my eyebrow bone and on my crease area and as well as at the end of my eyelid i am going to blend this in so much till it sits properly on my skin and then after that i will be going in with a blue eyeshadow just on the same spot where i used my green eyeshadow and i am going to blend it in you guys the thing about this is that when you use two colors and they graduate into each other it comes out it comes out so perfectly you would you would be blown away so i'm going to use this blue eyeshadow as well over the green and i am going to blend it till i get exactly what i need and i'm going to keep blending and blending and blending so always remember guys that blending is key most of the time when you are doing your makeup so i will keep blending So this part we just finished might as well be the easiest part of this look i think and now that that's done i am going to go over my eyelid and i am going to be using an, my eye primer to carve out my eyelid i'm going to be giving it the shape i need like you see i am doing in this video and when that's done i am going to be using three different colors i'm going to be using a yellow eyeshadow i'm going to be using an orange eyeshadow i am going to be using a pink eyeshadow and i am going to be using a blue eyeshadow as well sorry so that's four eyeshadows not three eyeshadows and i am going to be using them on my eyelid just like you see me do in this video and i am going to be going from the lightest to the darkest so first i will be going in with a yellow eyeshadow next the orange eyeshadow and after the orange eyeshadow i will be going in with the pink and then the blue just like so and i will make sure to blend them into each other so you do not see where one one eyeshadow starts and where the other one ends so basically just say i will be blending them so much so that they graduate into each other so keep watching guys and i hope you understand what i have explained and as well i hope you understand it from what you see me doing in this video while creating this look i realized that i did not have a blue eyeliner as you can see i used a blue eyeliner instead of a black so what i did was i used my eye primer i carved out the shape i wanted my eyeliner to be on and then i used a blue eyeshadow to just go over that and that was how i got my uh you know my blue eyeliner so you could just easily improvise you could use whatever i guess and instead of worrying about not having what eyeliner or what color i think you could just use your eyeshadow and your eye primer it works that way so now you guys i am done with my left eye 
I am now going over to my right eye to repeat what I have done on my left eye. So there's not much to say on this part because you know I already explained most of what I did on the other eye. So I have just repeated everything I did on the other eye. On this eye I am working on now. So now let me tell you guys something that happened. So I went ahead and applied my eyelash. I didn't include that clip because I'm trying to save time. And then after that, I went ahead and I applied my foundation. And I am using a stippling brush to apply my foundation. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I don't know why I just picked up a stippling brush and decided to do that. But anywho, it worked. And yeah, I'm going over that with, an, with a stippling brush. And then I used a regular blush. <laughs> sorry i use a regular brush to blend that in as well Moving on to my highlight and contour process, I am just doing the regular highlight and contour process with contour cream and uh, a concealer and I'm going to blend that over my face and go over that with a brush and blend it in to sit in my skin or to sit on my skin and then I'm going over that with the powder and applying it all over my face and blending it to make sure it sits right it sits right forgive my type my errors i don't know what is going on but you get my point going over to my lip i am outlining my lip with a pink matte lip stain and i am going to create an ombre look with a nude lip stain as well so I, i'm i'm really really sorry that this clip didn't show so much again i am really sorry because somehow in my mind i was trying to come closer to the camera and so that you guys could see what i was doing and i could see that it was really showing on the camera but now editing the video i don't know how it's possible that it's just completely out of the camera so i'm just creating an ombre look with the pink mask and then a nude lipstick as well And ta-da! The finished look, guys. I really, 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 really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And forgive my grammatical errors and every other thing that was going on with me. I really don't know what is happening in this particular 
editing process but i hope you guys enjoyed this look because i mean with all these colors and everything it wasn't so much so easy for me to put them together but i think it came out all right so if you have any you know anything to say about this look please drop it in the comment section i will be reading and replying as usual and don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch out for my next tutorial thank you so much for watching guys